Another new feature is the Smart Carver. So let's bring that image onto the desktop. And the Smart Carver can be found under the image menu again. Now this has a couple of functions on here. We can use it to remove objects or we can use it to resize the canvas and yet at the same time preserve um, certain elements of the canvas as well. To start with I'm going to remove this man here. So we'll use the red brush which is the remove object and I can also change the brush size by just moving the slider there and you can see the brush size getting bigger or smaller and I'm going to use that size. I'm just going to paint very roughly around this man and it needn't be too precise. There we go. And now we can now press one of six buttons here. Um, these four, I'm not going to go into detail on those at the moment. I'll come back to those. But here we can extract the man on the horizontal plane and that's exactly where I want to extract him. He's going to come out of there or we could extract him on the vertical plane but I'm going to extract him on the horizontal plane so we click on this button and hopefully the man will go. Yep and it's done a pretty reasonable job. Okay the second function is that we can resize the canvas and on this one I don't particularly want the 4x3 format I want a landscape on this so we'll use the green brush and I'm going to protect part of the image so just paint over the part that you want to be protected and again, I needn't be too precise about this. I'm going to protect some of those lines there. And once you've painted over the entire object you want to preserve, you can now alter the size. And at the moment, the original was 2,592 pixels. At the moment, it's 2,361 pixels. And I want to increase this, say, to 4,500, make a nice long pan panoramic picture. So now we'll expand the picture. Just click on that Smart Carver Expand button and depending on the processor speed it'll take approximately about 35 seconds. And there we go, it's now expanded the canvas for us and we can hide the mask to see what's happened. And as you can see the proportions of this monument have been perfectly preserved. We've removed the man on there. So this is basically the Smart Carver. It's an excellent tool. It works really well, although in some cases you may have to use the clone brush to tidy up some of the unwanted extras that are left behind. But all in all, I think it's a worthy addition to PaintShop Photo Pro. And one of the filters that I particularly like is the perspective control. So we click on the perspective control on the left hand side there. And now we can just move the lines to coincide with the lines of the building uh, like so and on the other side as well um, just make sure that the horizontal lines here remain perfectly horizontal and just bring that one in and this matches the line of the building there and as I say just make sure that the horizontal lines um, one way that you could actually check it is on the top here and this would be the Y coordinates the down coordinates on there um, it is actually quite difficult to do this I would have preferred if um, Corel had incorporated some sort of a, a shift key so that would constrain the horizontal lines to perfect angles of either 180 and 45 or whatever degrees uh, at the moment I'm just having to look at these on the top here and each each corner has its own um, setting so it's actually it can be a bit confusing to know which corner you're working with so uh, as I say it would have been handy if they had a shift control in there and that looks okay so now I've followed this edge on the left hand side and I've followed the edge on the right now to correct perspectives would normally entail having to buy a perspective control lens which would cost you know a thousand pounds or more Corel's PaintShop Photo Pro fortunately it has an excellent perspective control filter and this could save you many thousands of pounds just click on the apply button and there we have all the building in perfect uh, perspective so excellent filter there and there's many more filters on here as well so and this is the favorite one of mine which has been in previous versions and we go to effects photo effects and we can go to time machine and now we can just select oops we can just select any um, permutation we like and at the moment this is in a platinum print and we can then look at a box camera view 
or we can look in an old-fashioned sepia tone view and etc. There's some quite nice effects and if you want a cross-processed looking picture, a little bit garish, but that's okay as well. Now other effects in there are also in the photo effects. We can go to infrared film. Now this is quite an interesting one. I just fit the previews to the window there and we can now alter the different values and it gives a very realistic effect of having been shot with infrared film. And uh, finally, if I just move this out the way slightly, um, many photographers obviously like work with black and white and we've got a black and white film effect here. So um, if you're used to shooting with film and you'll know what different color filters effect have on black and white film then you can just simply select and at the moment I've got yellow selected if I want to select a red filter I just move it around there and now the preview is going to generate the effect that a red filter would give or we could even go to a green filter on the other side and we'll just see exactly what happens there each time you see that the greens have been light and the reds have been dark and etc of course you can have infinite control on this so no need to wander around with all those expensive glass filters. This will do the job perfectly for you. PaintShop Photo Pro has a lot of extra features that are under the bonnet, many of which will enhance the performance of your image editing by utilizing better processing speeds, etc. It is a very good upgrade from previous versions, although not a spectacular one. I do particularly like the object extractor and the smart carver. And for those two features alone, I would say it was a worthwhile upgrade.